All right, everyone. We'll go ahead and get started on our backs today. Um, you can take your knees together and your feet wide. And then bring your hands to the belly. Close the eyes. Begin to breathe through your nose. Create some nice, steady, even breaths. And as you're breathing through the nose, start to contract the back of the throat. Your ujjayi breath. And bring the legs up into the air. And the arms down by your sides. If you feel like you need to wiggle out a bit, wiggle out a bit. Maybe just move around a bit or stillness if that speaks to you more. Draw the knees gently back into your chest. Roll over to the right side and then come up to seated. So a comfortable cross-legged position. Taking the arms up, next inhale. And exhale, bring the right hand down and reach over to the right with your left arm. And through center, inhale up. And as you exhale, bring the left hand down, reach over to the left with your right arm. So not only does that get into the side body, but also that low back. Sure, you're sitting all day. Inhale, arms reach up. And exhale, bow forward. Inhale, come back up. Make your way onto your hands and knees. Tabletop position. Curl your toes under. And exhale, downward facing dog. Lift the hips, lift the belly, and draw back. Go ahead and wiggle out a bit there. If you need to pedal the feet, bending one knee, then the other. Shifting weight into one hip, then the other. Inhale forward into plank pose, shoulders over your wrists. And exhale, press back, downward facing dog. Plank inhale. And downward facing dog, exhale. One more time, plank pose, inhale. This time as you lower, exhale, chaturanga all the way down to the mat and release your toes. Slide your hands back a couple inches. Inhale, lift the chest and peel the shoulders back. Exhale, lower. Tops of the feet press, belly button lifts. Inhale, lift the chest. There's little to no weight in the hands. And exhale, lower. One more time, inhale, lift, cobra. And exhale, lower. Come up to hands and knees or plank, your choice. Inhale and downward facing dog. Exhale back. Soften your left knee, ground your right heel. Then switch. Draw back into both legs. Plank pose, come forward once again, inhale. Check that your wrist creases line up, ground through the bases of your index fingers and press back, downward facing dog. Drop the head, release the neck. Lifting pelvic floor, draw the low belly up and in. Then gaze forward and walk your feet to your hands, come to the top of the mat. Separate your feet about hip distance, spread the toes, slight bends in the knees, hold opposite elbows. 
Or just let the hands rest in your elbow creases as you hang forward and ragdoll. If you need to sway a bit or shake the head, yes and no. Whatever sort of brings you into a stillness. So getting the wiggles out. Let the forearms be heavy. Then release your hands. Come to standing with an inhale, whatever way serves you, long spine or rounded. And then bring your feet together and the arms down to your sides into Samastihiti Mampos. Next inhale, sweep your arms up overhead, lift the gaze, palms could touch. Active legs fold forward, hinging at the hips. Inhale, lengthen, halfway lift. And exhale, step back, plank pose. Hold your plank. Exhale, bend your elbows, chaturanga, nice and controlled. Inhale, upward facing dog. Hands and the feet press, so we're not slinking into the shoulders, but lifting out of them. Next, exhale, downward facing dog. Lift the belly, lift the pelvis, draw back. Send your right leg up and back, inhale. Right knee forward to your nose, exhale. Inhale the right leg up and back, peeling the right hip open, bend the knee and take your heel towards left glute. Work the shoulders even, the left thigh bone back, left heel towards the floor. Then straighten your right leg, square your hip up once again, pause for your inhale. Knee forward to nose again, exhale. Step the right foot to your right thumb. Keep the left palm planting and then sweep the right arm up next, inhale. And then express whatever way works for you, moving a little through the shoulder rotation. Next, exhale, both hands down, right leg back to hover, three-legged plank. Three, two, and one. Exhale, feet down, downward facing dog. Sweep the left leg up and back. Inhale. Left knee forward to nose. Exhale. Inhale, the leg up and back. Peel the hip open. Create space, then bend the knee. Take your left heel towards your right glute. Good. Keep wrapping the outer shoulders, both of them, towards the floor. Press through the index finger bases. Right thigh bone draws back, right heel down. Inhale, straight leg, square hip. Exhale, knee forward to nose. Left foot, left thumb. Right palm plants, inhale, left arm up. Move through the rotation, or whatever expression you may have done on the other side. Next, exhale, both hands down, three-legged plank. Left foot steps back to hover. Three. Two, one, feet down, downward facing dog. Walk your hands back to the feet, back of your mat. Little bends in the knees. Inhale, lengthen, Ardha Uttanasana, back of the mat. Exhale, fold. Inhale, bend your knees, send your hips way back and your fingertips forward, half chair. Good. Firm up the legs, the inner thighs. Lift the belly from the thighs. Hands then reach behind the back. Interlace the fingers. Lift the hips. Drop the head. Bow forward. Release the shoulders. Half 
How's the breath? Knuckles to your low back. Then release down to the floor. Walk forward to a plank pose. Inhale, ground down. Press back down, dog. Exhale. Then look forward and bring your feet to your hands. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Rise to stand. Inhale, reach the arms. Lift your gaze. Exhale, Samastihiti. Throw that arms back up, big breath in. Forward fold, exhale. Lengthen, inhale. Step or float back, Chaturanga, exhale. Upward facing dog, inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale. Good, eyes towards the belly button and breathe. Inhale, feet to hands. Exhale, fold. Inhale, stand up and reach. Exhale, arms down. Samastihiti. Go it again, arms back up. Inhale. Forward fold. Exhale. Keep the legs strong. Lengthen. Inhale. Step or float. Chaturanga. Exhale. Upward facing. Inhale. Downward facing. Exhale. One more breath. On the exhale, draw back. Inhale, feet to hands. Exhale, fold in. Then stand up. Inhale. Exhale, arms to your side. Samastihiti. Good. Chair pose. Utkatasana. Inhale. Exhale, twisting to the right. Pavrita Utkatasana. So the hips evenly draw back. Sternum lifts to thumb. Shoulders from the ears. Inhale, chair pose. Again, Utkatasana. Lengthen the upper body. Exhale, twist to the left. Inhale, chair pose. Gather that energy from the feet. Exhale, forward fold, release. Inhale, lengthen. Chaturanga back, exhale. Upward facing, inhale. And downward facing dog, exhale. Right leg lifts, inhale. Right knee to nose, exhale, and step the right foot, right thumb. Crescent lunge, inhale, rise up. Activate the inner thighs, hugging them. Ground through the feet and square off. So long tailbone, low bellies lifting. You can bend the back knee to help find that neutral pelvis. Exhale the hands down, down dog split, right leg up and back. Peel the hip open. Inhale, pause there. Exhale, right knee, left tricep. Inhale, right leg up and back. Exhale, right knee, left tricep. 
Inhale the leg up and back. Exhale, right knee, left tricep again, and then extend the leg. Fall in triangle. Back heel down. Left arm up. Then reach the left hand to the front of the room. Left arm back up, pause for your inhale. Exhale, left hand down, right knee into the chest. Inhale, wild thing, left foot, roll to the outer edge, right foot steps behind you, hips and heart open. Again, express how it feels good to your body. Uh, look to your left thumb. Reach your right hand to the ceiling, then right knee to the ceiling as you transition through side plank. Step the right foot to the top of the mat. Crescent lunge again. Inhale, rise up. And then exhale, reach your arms back. Bow forward, lift the belly. Next, inhale, Digasana, airplane pose, left leg lift. Crescent lunge, step back, nice and controlled. Inhale, lift the arms. Exhale, hands to the floor, lengthen your front leg. Good. Ground through the base of the right big toe, and then draw your outer right hip back. Engage the leg, lift the belly. Maybe you fold in. I didn't shorten the stance. I kept the stance nice and long. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen, ripple up, long spine. And exhale, take it down the leg. One more time, because I don't remember if we did two or three. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale, fold. Once again, crescent lunge, bend the knee. Inhale, the arms reach up. And then exhale, the hands to the floor. Right foot steps back, shoulders stay forward. Hold there the inhale, and chaturanga exhale. Up dog, inhale. And downward facing dog, exhale. Pause, find your breath, slow it down if you need to. Lift the left leg, inhale. Left knee to nose, exhale. Step the left foot, left thumb. Crescent lunge, inhale, rise up. Find all that squaring off, neutral pelvis, feet press, inner thighs hug. So lots of stability through the lower body. Exhale, the hands down to the floor. Left leg up and back, down dog split. Hold there, inhale. Exhale, left knee, right tricep. Inhale, the leg up and back. Exhale, left knee, right tricep. Inhale, the leg up and back. Exhale, left knee, right tricep, extend the leg. Toes could line up with fingers. Fall in triangle, back heel down, right arm up. Right hand then to the front of the room, lengthen. Right arm back up, inhale. Exhale, right hand down, left knee into your chest. Wild thing, roll to the outer edge of your right foot. Step your left foot behind you. Hips, heart open. Express as you'd like to. Good, look to the right thumb. Reach your left hand to the ceiling. 
Then possibly left knee to the ceiling, ground through the outer edge of that right foot. Step the left foot, top of the mat. Crescent lunge once again. Inhale, ground down, lift up. Exhale, arms sweep back, bow forward. Scoop the belly up. Inhale, digasana, airplane pose. Bend the knee, step back, crescent lunge, arms reach up. Exhale, hands to the floor, keep the feet where they are and lengthen the front leg, blocks if you need it, of course. Ground through the base of the left big toe, left outer hip draws back, belly's lifting. And exhale, maybe you fold over the leg. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Good. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale, fold. Bend the knee. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, hands to the floor. Left foot steps back. Shoulders stay forward. Hold, inhale. Chaturanga, exhale with control. This time all the way down to the floor. Release the toes. Take your hands wider than your mat. And then tent the hands. So come up onto the fingertips. You could draw the hands back in line with your chest. And then inhale, peel the upper body up. And then as you exhale, melt the chest forward as you draw the shoulder blades together down the back. We're getting really engaged into the back muscles. Good, again, inhale, lift. And then exhale, shoulder blades together down the back, back of the heart through the front of the heart. Again, inhale up. And exhale. One more time, inhale up. And exhale, all the way down to the floor. Slide the hands under shoulders. Press to upward facing dog, inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale. Walk your hands to your feet once again, back of the mat. Nice and slow. Drop the head, release the neck. Inhale, feet are hip distance, take a chair pose, arms reach up. Exhale, send your chest to your thighs, sweep your arms back. Inhale, lift the chest, lift the arms. Exhale, chest to thighs, sweep the arms back. Good, again, inhale up. Exhale, chest to thighs, arms back. One more time, inhale, arms up. And then exhale, arms back, interlace the fingers one more time, lift the hips, drop the head, release your shoulders. We've been here before. If you feel to stay still, stay still. If you wanna add a little bit of a twist, left knee bends, right leg lengthens, and then open to the right of it. Pelvic floor still lifting, low belly's drawing up and in. And then switch, right knee bends, left leg lengthens and open to the left. Back to center. Release the hands to the low back and then down to the floor. Inhale, walk it forward to a plank one more time. And exhale back to downward facing dog. Good. Lift your heels high up, inhale. 
Bend your knees, send your chest to your thighs, exhale. Hips high, long legs, inhale. Exhale, ground the heels. Look forward. Inhale, step or float, feet to hands, top of your mat, lengthen. Exhale, fold in. And then rise to stand. Inhale, reach your arms, lift your gaze, palms could touch. And exhale, samastihiti. Separate your feet about hip distance apart. The hands on the hips, lift the crown of your head, breathe in. And exhale, fold, hinge at your hips, reach down, grab your big toes with the first two fingers. Inhale, then find length. And exhale, fold in. Inner thighs roll back, crown of the head heavy towards the floor, shoulders from the ears. Inhale, lengthen. Bring the hands under the feet, palms face up, Parahastasana. So the big toe bases can line up with the index finger bases. All right, maybe shift a little weight forward into the toes, lengthen and fold. Your heels stay connected to the floor, even if you're just shifting a little weight forward into toes. Next, inhale, take a long spine. Exhale, release the hands, forward fold. And rise all the way to standing. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, arms down, feet together, samastihiti. Then sweep your arms back up, another breath in. Forward fold, exhale, uttanasana. Ardha, inhale. Send the left leg back, exhale. Come up onto the fingertips, reach the heart forward, breathe, inhale. Plant the palms, exhale, down dog split. Hold there, maybe peel the hip open a bit as you inhale. Exhale, bring the knee forward to your nose again. Step the foot to the top of the mat, crescent lunge, inhale, rise up, been here before. Exhale, left arm under, right, find eagle arms. Stay there, or maybe you exalt. Next, exhale, bow forward. Scoop the belly, lift the back leg. Pressing through the right foot, come to standing, left knee lift. And then stack the left knee over the right, eagle legs. Find once or twice. Hug the midline, sit back into your hips. Good, begin to release the left leg, step it back. Crescent lunge, eagle arms, inhale. Exhale, release, bring the hands to heart center, lower the back knee to the floor. <clears throat> Take the left elbow to the outside of the right knee. Create a nice deep twist. Maybe your shoulder works outside the knee and the palm plants. Back toes could curl under and lift. Either palms press or arms expand. Now I look down. Bring your hands to frame your foot. Lengthen your front leg. Step your back foot in this time about a half or a third of the distance. Parsvottanasana. And inhale, long spine. Exhale, full chin to shin. Inhale, lengthen. As you exhale, bend the right knee, walk your hands forward, shift the weight into your right foot, lift the back leg. Supported warrior three, try to even off the hips and activate your back leg, lift your belly, pull the outer right hip back. And then exhale, bring your feet together. 
and forward fold into your legs. Lengthen Ardha, inhale, fold and exhale. Lengthen again Ardha, inhale. Step your right foot back, exhale. Just come up onto the fingertips as you sink the hips, send the heart forward, inhale. Exhale, plant the palms, sweep the left leg up and back, down dog split. Again, maybe you inhale or maybe you open the hip as you inhale. And knee forward to nose, exhale. Step the left foot by your left thumb. Crescent lunge, ground down. Lift up, inhale. Right arm under left for eagle arms. Possibly you exalt next, inhale. Hold. Good, bow forward as you exhale. Shift, lift the back leg. Go ahead and press through the left foot. Bring the right knee up. And stack the right knee over left. Find eagle legs. Find me once or twice. Hug the midline. Fix the eye gaze. Sit back into the hips. Scoop the belly up and in. Hug your midline. Go ahead, release the right leg. Slowly step back. Crescent lunge, eagle arms. Then release arms, lift up. Hands to heart center, back knee to the floor. As you exhale, take the right elbow or shoulder outside the knee. Again, palms press or right palm plants outside your foot possibly. And then maybe your arms expand. Option to lift the back leg. Inhale, gaze down and frame your foot as you exhale. Lengthening the front leg, step your back foot in about a third of the distance, Parsvo Tanasana. Inhale, long spine. Exhale, chin to shin. Legs are super strong. Inhale, lengthen, bend the left knee, walk your hands forward, and shift the weight into the left foot, lift your back leg. Pull that left outer hip back in space, lift your belly, activate your right leg. Feet together, forward fold, exhale, Uttanasana. Inhale, Ardha, lengthen. Exhale, fold in. Inhale, stand all the way up, reaching the arms, lift the gaze. And deep forward fold again, exhale. Lengthen, inhale. Step or float back, chaturanga, exhale. Urdhva Mukha Svanasana, inhale, hold. Look to your left. Look to the right. Shoulders peel back evenly, legs are engaged. Ease forward. Downward facing dog, exhale. Then take your feet wider than hip distance. Toes could turn out as you walk your hands to the back of the mat and squat down. You could use that block or book if you need. Uh, hands could be at the floor, heart center. So lots of different expressions. Maybe you find some twists and binds here. See what works for you. Good, steady breathing. And then I, wherever you are, I just want you to think about uh, pressing your feet into the floor as if you're going to stand up any minute. So that can definitely help with 
going against the sagging where we're really like no banda engagement and then when you press through the feet and work the spine longer that can help bring that energy up to pelvic floor and low belly our reference points for mula banda uddiyana banda a few more breaths hands down hips up as you release the pose and heel to your feet into about hip distance lengthen exhale fold Lengthen again. Exhale, fold. Inhale, walk, hands forward, plank pose. And exhale, downward facing dog. Send your right leg up and back, inhale. And then right knee forward behind your right wrist for pigeon. So as you lower the hips and release the left leg straight back from your left hip, decide if you need to adjust your right leg. So if you need more from the posture, more information, your shin becomes more and more parallel to the top of the mat. And again, the hips are even down the center. If you need less, heels more towards groin area, right? So depending on what you need, take a big inhale. And then as you exhale, fold forward or whatever that looks like for you today. Staying lifted is always an option too. Inhale, begin to lift up. And as you exhale, bend the back knee. That may be it today. Or you could reach your left hand back and draw the heel in towards your glute. right hip, swing the left leg around, stepping left foot outside right knee, Ardha Matsandrasana twist, and then let the sit bones ground, so that right heel is outside the hip, if you need to straighten the right leg, straighten it up, good, so foundation for a moment, sit bones, sole of the left foot, and the right thigh bone, eventually those are all down energies, and then we create that Lifting energy, twist to your left. Gaze forward, inhale. Unwind, exhale, counter your twists if you'd like. Come back to center. Reverse table, hands behind you about 12 inches back, fingers face toes, separate your feet about hip distance. 
Inhale, lift the hips, draw the belly in. If it's safe for your neck, let the head fall back. Press my arm bones to the back of the room. Good, next exhale, lower down. Crossing shins, plant your palms. You could lift up or roll forward, step back, chaturanga, dandasana. Inhale, Urdhva Mukha. Exhale, down dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Inhale, the left leg up. Exhale, left knee, left wrist. Pigeon on the left side, lower hips, right leg. Go straight back from your right hip. Decide if you need to add on or do less this side. If you fold forward, do so as you exhale. Weight center down the middle. Inhale, begin to come back up and bend your back knee. Draw the heel in towards the glute. Maybe the hand assists or not. Steady breath. Release the back leg. Sit heavy into your left hip. Swing the right leg around, stepping right foot outside the left knee. Either keep the left heel outside the hip, point the toes, or straighten out the left leg. Okay, then you're gonna ground down, find that foundation for a moment, and then twist to your right. Remember, the hips do not move in the twist. The hips stay square to the front of your mat. Down energy creates the up energy or the lifting. Gazing forward and half. Exhale, unwind, counter twist if you'd like. And then coming back to center, cross shins, plant palms, knees into the chest. Lift up, jump back, move through your flow. And then finish off in downward facing dog. From down dog, gaze forward. Step or jump through to seated as you inhale. Legs long. Good. Hands frame the hips. Dandasana, staff pose. Flex the ankles, thigh bones in neutral. If this is super difficult to sit with a tall spine, a block can be really helpful to put under both sit bones. Inhale, gaze forward, reach forward. 
Exhale, Paschimottanasana, forward fold. Find legs or feet. Be aware if your thigh bones start to roll open. Try and keep them in neutral. Eventually, your toes line up evenly. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, reverse table again or reverse plank. Foot back with the hands, fingers face toes. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, lower down. Take the soles of your feet together and open your knees wide. Inhale, tall spine, maybe you stay there again, maybe blocks under your sits bones, or fold and exhale. Pressing heels, letting feet roll open or open like a book. And as I press the heels, I let the knees press to the right and to the left. So there's opposite energies happening. Again, that down would be created with the heels pressing. And it lets the energy lift, reaching the knees out, opening the hips. Inhale, rise up. Find your big toes, first two fingers. Find your sits bones for balance. Lift the feet. Next option, inhale, extend your legs. Maybe you look up. Uptabhishta Konasana. Gaze forward, flex the ankles, lower the legs, letting calves touch down first. Keep the toes or release them and fold. Inhale, rise up. Hands under the knees, bend them, draw the legs together. Give yourself a squeeze. Lift the head, reach the arms forward, inhale. Exhale, lower down onto the back. Set up your bridge pose as you inhale, lift the hips way up into the air, roll the shoulders underneath your back. Good. Firm up the legs, keep the inner thighs super active. And then exhale, lower down. Second one, bridge again, or upward facing bow, hands under shoulders. Inhale, lift up. Don't lose the connection of the feet to the floor. Keep it steady, lower down, next exhale. Good, last one, again, inhale, lifting up. Good. Keep the inner thighs active. Open the chest. Exhale, lower down. Draw the knees into the chest. Give yourself a big squeeze. 
rock a little side to side and then up to seated legs long out in front of you gentle forward fold Exhale, lower onto the back. Take a bridge position again. Lift your hips. Place the block, block or if you have a steady book, maybe even a towel or something underneath so that you are supported. Sacrum's on the block. And then lift the legs to the ceiling. So supported shoulder stand. I'm not lifting off my block, staying on the block. Again, you can just fold up a towel to get a little height if you don't have a block or a book that's not going to shift underneath you. You want it to be steady and secure. Bend the knees, feet on the floor, lift the hips, remove your object, lower your spine back down to the mat. Extend your left leg long, draw the right knee in, give it a nice hug into the chest as you reach the left toes forward. Good, then switch. Left knee into the chest, right toes forward. Both knees in. Drop your knees with an exhale over to the right. Turn your head to the left, melt the shoulders to the mat. You can extend your left arm from your shoulder in the T position. back through center and over to the left with the legs turn your head to the right center. Ease into the chest.
And let the feet go down to the floor. Take them a little bit away from the body as you open the knees. So Supta Baddha Konasana, butterfly pose on your back. And then resting the hands, maybe on the belly, or if you want to put your left hand to your heart. Close the eyes. Release the arms, long by your sides, turn the palms up. Take the legs long, let the feet fall open. The eyes are still closed, take a deep inhale through your nose. And open the mouth, exhale, releasing your ujjayi breath. Moving into a nice natural breath. And letting yourself sink into your mat like you're soaking into a warm bath, allowing it to be enough. Small movements, starting in your toes and your fingers, and drawing the legs together, and the knees into the chest, giving 
giving yourself a little squeeze before rolling over to the right side and up to seated. Keeping the eyes closed. And once you're seated, bringing your hands to your heart's center. May this practice open our bodies for better health, our minds for greater understanding, and our hearts for a deeper capacity to love. And thank you everyone that shared your practice this morning. Namaste. Thank you so much. Facebook people, if you have any comments, send me or, or questions, send them to me. Thank you. Hold Thank on. You.